Hello everybody! I'm finally getting around to making a video of this pretty junk journal that I finished actually about two weeks ago. And this is another of the collaged cover that I made and I really enjoy making these. And I bought this digital um, image kit and I loved these flowers and the color in this kit. So I used that on the front in the back and what I did was make a, a roughly 12 by 9 cover. I collaged some scraps of paper and some of this digital paper and some butterflies, some text here, a definition of the word hope, and collaged those together, coated it with Mod Podge, and then stitched on the sewing machine and added some muslin along the spine inside and outside so that it would have a little more strength there where it takes a little bit of wear and tear but there's the front cover here's the back and I've sewn some vintage buttons from my button box here I've sewn some of those onto the binding threads and inside I tried to stick with somewhat ivory cream neutral colors except here where I've again done the collage work and layered in some flower floral um, digital designs, some butterflies, a bee, these designs on the back cover and I've got a lot of coffee dyed paper in here, some book page and just scraps of paper and here I've punched a butterfly in the corner and attached this coffee dye page just with an extra maybe one inch of the page and hinged that in and then machine stitched to add a little accent and over here I've got a paper bag might have come from Hallmark it had this pretty white design on it and then I added a little bit of cheesecloth and some stitching and a butterfly here came from a die cut kit and this I used a page from a 4 by 6 photo album and I stitched that on the back of a printed paper bag that's the bag stitched this on to make a pocket and I like to collect old um, postcards and I love this one I love the pretty colors on it and it's got some embossing some texture you can feel that on the back as well, but it goes right under that sheet. And then this side, I layered some washi tape. And here I've got coffee dye paper, music page, a book page, more digital items here, coffee dyed graph paper, coffee dyed parchment paper. I placed this on one of my pizza sheets and I got that tiny little dot texture on there and I like that. And here I've put a tuck spot up at the top and I've collaged and stitched and layered some lace on here and then coffee dyed just some average ordinary leftover school paper and I like the patterns on that but that just tucks right up inside. And here I pieced together the page itself. I started with this as a base and then added these pieces of scraps together to make a collaged page. And over here the same thing, only I was a little bit picky about where these designs fell here. So I could use the bird from the bird book. And over here more coffee dyed paper and some fabric that I pleated and stitched and some scraps of paper here and over here music paper it's folded up into a pocket and I've stamped on this and then added the butterfly and in the pocket this collaged card for journaling another card for journaling and go right back in here some machine stitching which I really enjoy using the sewing machine I don't have a lot of fancy stitches, but I try to maximize what I do have. 
And here I've taken a um, brown paper bag, folded this over to strengthen the lip of this where it takes some wear. And I've layered some scraps here, did a little abstract stamping, um, a card that is coffee dyed, and I stitched some muslin and cheesecloth on there. That's a nice spot to journal on. And here, some cardstock, and I've stamped Play in the Warmth of the Sun, Dance in the Light of the Moon. And that can be a journal card. More coffee dye paper. And here I got these three items in a package of die cuts. And I put those together and then use some washi tape on the corners. Lots of space to journal and to add your own paper ephemera or build your own pages in this journal. And here I've layered scrapbooking paper with this torn out from a book about butterflies and added the, the definition of imagination. This is the center of the signature. And these are the buttons that I've tied. And I love this. This is a piece of um, vintage cloth. I think this might have been curtain material. And you can flip this up and I've got washi tape butterflies in the coffee dye paper here. And here I've layered this pretty yellow fabric with some yellow washi tape and this pretty scrap of lace. More coffee dye paper. Here I've pleated some brown paper bag and some paper. Here just some collaged items and a butterfly. More music paper. And this idea is not my own. This came from Amity Bloom. And she was taking her own photos and creating, reproducing the look of a Polaroid print. So I took some of my own flower photos and did that and put those in the pocket. And they can be journaled on. And over here, some layers of fabric and tool and eyelash trim and a vintage button that was sewn on. And over here added another page in with some washi tape for color. Some collage work and I love this page. This is so much fun. This page is made from a large paper bag, a little heavier than average, and I folded it into sections and put it in the journal so that this page is layered up with coffee dye paper and stamping butterflies and then stitched with the machine and you open up and you've got places for either journaling or placing ephemera or images or whatever your imag imagination leads you to and that opens up and then on this side it opens up as well and I have another section here where I've got coffee dye paper and some die cuts and you can journal here and here and this is some tissue paper coffee dye tissue paper and some machine stitching so I think that's one of the more fun pages in the book and this is some of the yeah Anita what is it parchment paper that's what it is, parchment paper. Coffee dye paper, more of the book page. Up here I just layered some different papers. And the white paper I thought was kind of fun. I happened to hit the um, secondhand store on a day when they had some miniature, probably not bigger than four by six, shorthand books, if anybody does shorthand at all anymore. But I grabbed those up for about a quarter a piece, and the pages I thought were interesting because they've got the word and the line work for the word. And I used that to layer, and then the dragonfly image. And over here, I've added in a page, not through the binding, but hinged it in with washi tape, and also collaged. And here is one of the full pages. That's all the bigger those little books are that have the shorthand. There's a whole page of the shorthand and piece together a page. And here I decided as well as using up scraps, I wanted to start using 
my um, folder dies to do a little bit more texture. And so I added that here with this pretty image and a butterfly die cut. And this is the other half of that um, printed paper bag with this pretty image with the bee. And in the paper bag, some more coffee dye paper. And over here, coffee dye paper scrap layered with some more of the um, texture folder that I used on cardstock and paper bag and a die cut and machine stitched and created the pocket and thought this was kind of fun. This was a pretty piece of cardstock that I had. And you could do just a little bit of secretive journaling in there or a little doodling. And I punched a hole and added an eyelet and some eyelash trim. And that go tiny piece of journaling material goes in the tiny pocket. And over here, some more collaging. And over here, another sheet with some stitching, some book page, another um, definition of the word honesty, and the back page of the journal. I love the colors in this. All these different element, elements that I brought together to collage and then brought that together with the stitching. So there you have it. I'm really enjoying making these. I'm not keeping up with getting the videos made, but I am trying. So um, this one will end up in my shop, I hope. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.